check, 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 check. Okay, there we go. My mic was not working for a moment. That's weird. Okay. Um, and actually, that's probably why I can't hear the monitor for the game. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. I need to change my settings real quick. Double check, double check. Audio. Uh, same monitoring device. I should be able to hear the game audio. Hmm. Yeah, I can't hear the game audio. Weird, but okay. So, as I was saying, I've, uh... We're going to be tackling Pokemon Shield. I was originally going to play Sword. We got the two-pack, but uh, we don't have that here right now. So I'm going to be doing Shield. Pretty much the same game, so not a big problem. Um, I've played the original, like, two generations. Mostly two was my favorite. And I played the most recent one, Pokemon Sun Moon. I guess there was Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, but they were basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be diving into Galar. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, a bit more voice work in this one, I think, since there's a lot more dialogue and stuff. Ah, so let's let's get into it. Hopefully I don't offend y'all with my, my versions of these European accents. And I'll say with this guy, I don't know what it is about this guy, but he reminds me a lot of Colin Farrell. So I'm going to be doing my really butchered Colin Farrell for him. <clears throat> Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Uh, it's immediately stopped being a Colin Farrell. Whatever. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Oh yeah. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Here we go. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> the silliest goddamn outfit I ever seen. I love it. I love him. Oh, beautiful boy. There he goes. There he goes. Ah, oh, is that is that his thing? What the what is this thing? Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. Oh, okay. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Jarazard, Dynamax. I apologize. I may not be able to differentiate these voices <laughs> that super well, but, you know, hopefully I'll be able to keep track of them as things go on. Pokemon Shield. Do 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 do. Boy, I really wish I could hear the music. Oh yeah. Oh, I love I love those guys too. I like a lot of the new Pokemon in general. Like that was one thing I really loved about Pokemon Sun Moon was all of the new Pokemon. <coughs> Ooh, a Munchlax. Okay. There I am. Play the uh, playing Nintendo Switch? Meta. Oh wait, that's Rotom. Rotom Dex, I guess? Hello, hello. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm I'm not going to give him an accent just because it'll be easier for me. Oh, that your flash... Flash new phone? Is that what they say in Galar? Okay. That's your flash new phone, Iggy. Are you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. I guess I am doing an accent for it. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Iggy. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, brother, okay. Come with me, Iggy. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. 
Now I've got to run. See you in mine later. I'm, I'm going way too deep into Australian already. This is, this is not a good track record. Oh well. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh shit. Oh god, I'm so fast. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can I talk to you? Hello? Mm, good. Good. I love the, the chonky boots. What do you gotta say, mum? Rushing off in that state, Iggy. Didn't hope say so you should bring your bag. I'll last saw it in your room. Don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Oh, yeah, that's very Australian. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, my room's on the, the bottom floor. Nice. That's different. It's usually upstairs. Okay. Although that always asks the question, where does mom sleep in those games? Looking fresh. Looking clean. Ooh, okay. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm, mm. Got it. X is the pause. Okay. Look at what we have here. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Oh, the telly! Oh, but then we got a we got an Eevee in the way. It's a plush of the Pokemon Eevee. It's super soft to the touch. Oh, sweet! Can I bring my MacBook? Hmm. Okay. Uh. Not much else. This is a nice room. Wish. Here's the thing. They could pretty much just release. All of this shit, including like the covers, and people would buy it like crazy. People, people absolutely love Pokemon merch. Oh, oh, here we go. Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going outside. Hello, hello. I am here. Hello. Badoo. Badoo doo. Can I go can I go anywhere else? Nope. I'm right down the path. Okay. Hey Hop. Oh ho ho, have a look at you, Iggy. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Now this is this is this is New Zealand. I gotta gotta work on my accent work. A wooloo, but what's it doing here? Doing there. Oh. Damn it. Missing the lines too now. Oof. Whatever. This is mostly for fun. Hey, you silly wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering we weald. Now that that's taken care of, how about it, Iggy? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Here we go. Here we go. Let me go. Nah. Running. Hmm. They're chatting. Having a fun time. Hello? The power of size is amazing. Now you can battle and try Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the child voice because it's, uh. Uh. I. I ooh. I can already tell that that's not going to go so well. I'll, I'll have to develop some child voice because I know there's characters later that have them. Alright. Hop's house. Hello. Mom, is he here? There you are. <laughs> ah, crap. I dropped the ball on the mom voice. Oh, and you've brought along Iggy. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? Still not here yet. The hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. That's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. Gotta come, Iggy. You've still never met my big bro, right? Can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. But they say router route. Hmm. A purloin. Oh, hello, Grandpa. Dope. His brother is a superhero. It's gonna be kind of all my, like, adult man voices for this one. Hey, hello, hello, hello. How are you? Alright, here we go. Here we go. There he is. Hello. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Iggy. Wall Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. 
got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Iggy, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Do, 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 do. That, wow, he was right. This bait is freaking huge. Alright. Uh, you coming? Let's go and meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Okay, that's where I was heading. What? Why are you just standing there? Were they implying I should I should try and go through the grass? Hmm. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's find out what happens. No wandering into that tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Hey, it's Leon. Hey. He smiled. He's gonna do it. He did it. Is 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 the finger thing? Go Leon. Woo 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 woo. Hello, hello, Wedgehead. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for y'all to watch. So, it's, un it's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. And come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee. But Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Do true, the Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I wanted the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. It's Charizard noise. Lee! Oh! Ooh. Whoops. Lift the mic a little bit, let me back it up. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Orp. I reckon you've grown. Exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you under feed so long, eh, Lee? These bright eyes over here, I've got it. You must be Iggy, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. The Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion. And a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. You, Iggy. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. That hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With the proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Oh, what was that voice? Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. Don't you fret. Always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay, I guess it's just a cutscene. Fine. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present. You promised us a present. So out with it. You brought it, gave me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? Oh my god. Gold reading. I haven't done it in a bit. <clears throat> you brought it, gave me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Take a good look, you two. Yes, the grass type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. Yeah. They doing their thing. Hey, quit spitting. Oh yeah. That's my man. That's my man right there. Oh uh, look, they're, they're teaching you the hierarchy, but uh, only one of them actually used like an elemental power, so. Mm. Here we go, here we go. All right, line up, everyone. 
Which will you choose? I know exactly who I'm going for. It's your boy. It's your guy. C come on, let me do it. Come on, you pick first. I've already got my Lulu after all. Grookey. Grookey. Yes. Yes, my boy. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, eh? Soothing. Like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Yep. That's my man. You chose Grookey. Would you like to give Grookey a nickname? Mm, yeah, let's give him a nickname. Uh. He. He monkey. He monkey. There we go. He monkey has been added to your party. Hmm. Ooh, it's getting cloudy. So it'll be grookey for you. Nice one. And I'll go with Sobble. You mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Well, that's interesting. He actually went with the one that's weak to the one I picked. In the past, it was they would always pick the, the one that you're strong against. I'll bet you will be up. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Iggy. Two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. You'll come with me. Charles, I will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Oh, are these both my rivals? Okay. That's different. All right, enough. All this training nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Oh, yeah. Kebab. And a lovely kebab. Ooh. Bro, there's like three sausages on each one of those, dang. I knew, I knew the British were known for uh, eating a lot of sausage, but dang. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another. Maybe even built up a bit of love. Of course I have, Lee. Icky's made fast friends with her Grookey, too. And listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Iggy might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Op? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friends if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? What happens if I say no? And now about I give you a spot of advice. You don't want to go getting so caught up in things that you forget everything you've accomplished till now. Take a moment to jot down what you've done in order to save a record of your progress. Okay, so he's saying to save. Fair enough. Save your progress. Yes. Yes, Grookey, my boy! Okay. Town map. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's neat. Oh, and you can just... Okay, cool. And options... Uh, battle style is switch. Uh, send the boxes with the manual. Tech speed fast. Give nicknames. Give gyroscope. Uh, oops. Uh, we're gonna use don't use because I don't have motion controls on this. Vertical camera controls inverted. Auto save on. Casual controls. Oh, okay. Uh, show nicknames. Skip movies. No, thanks. I'm glad they have that ability, though. Set and end. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> Saving. Save your progress. Just to be safe. I know I redid it. Okay, now let's let's do the fight. 
What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. Believe in your partner Pokemon. And care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. More importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike? Let's do this. Watched every match that Lee's ever had. Read every book and magazine left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. I mean, this is the intro fight, so we're just gonna be tackling each other. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Uh, oh, it's just so fluffy. Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. All right. Let's. Oh, the Woo is only level three. Okay. Scratch. Not much else I can do. He monkey, you scratch. Tackle. Yep. Yep. It's just trading the basic normal type move. Hmm. Not super exciting, but that's how Pokemon goes. No. No, I didn't think he would retaliate. All right, I win. Ooh. Oh, sweet, leveled up already. He monkey learned branch poke. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Uh, oh, okay. Subble. Fight. What's branch poke do? Uh, poke with a branch. Okay. Monkey use branch poke. Oh wow. Yeah, that, that's definitely super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? Hmm. I like that it can recognize that you know that. It's definitely a lot less annoying than some games where they still force you to go through all the tutorial stuff. The opposing Sobble painted. All right, ooh, leveled up twice in the first battle. That's, wow, that's generous. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that Grookey are too much. You got 400 Poke Dollars for winning. That's enough for a Pokeball. Maybe two? Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Grookey. I'm gonna get you all sorted. And Iggy, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him, and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lise. Come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You, join the gym challenge. Think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. That's really what you want to do. You two have a little hook. You do have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially friend Iggy. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. It's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes then, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Iggy. As the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs, let the professor know to expect you. You're going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. Probably better go tell your mum that we're heading out, though. Yep, yep. Huh. A crash. Iggy, did you hear that just now? The gate's open! And the Wooloo that was there. No, you fool! No! It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. I don't think it actually broke through there, did you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. It was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Iggy, what do you say? We've got to save it. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Iggy. Here we go. 
Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -do. I don't know how much more prepared I could really get. Slumbering wield. That will. Where do you think he got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh, jeez. Huh. My first random encounter. Oh, Squovit. Got some big old cheeks. All right. Let's fight this man. Fight this man. Uh, oof. Yeah, I think I'm going to take him out in one shot. He's only level two. Ooh. Oh, maybe not. Well, let's just use Scratch. No need to waste the PP on it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of early Pokemon game is just going through the motions of this business. It's not bad. It's just uh doesn't really hit its stride usually until a little later on. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Yeah, only 11. That makes sense. All right. Go, go, go. Go. Hmm. Let me go through. Whoop. Ah, damn it. Nearly got away. Oh. Rookity. All right. A nerf. Oh, so I can't eat berries? It's, I don't think I even have any berries. What's in my bag? I have three potions. And that's it. Well, that's fine. There's more than you usually start with, so. Scratch. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, defense. I, I'll i be honest. I've never gone deep into the meta of Pokemon, so I don't really care about the status effects. Generally, I just train my Pokemon enough that their attack is high. High enough that uh, they can just take people out. Maybe I get some X defense and stuff, but for the most part, nothing too special. I'm a very just kind of like brawling trainer. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Hmm. Hmm. Th th this way. Damn it. Oh, it's another one of these guys. With big old cheeks. Big old cheeks. Alright. Hit him. Hit him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's trading, trading simple, simple attack moves. At the end of this, do I get it to keep the Wulu? Because I like them. They are fluffy. Mm, please. Please. Hmm. Take on quite a bit of damage at this point. I think I'll be okay. Hmm. Soon. Soon I will get a Pokeball and catch... Catch all of you. Whoop. Yeah, okay. Come on, Iggy. That Wooloo might be in real trouble. Well, well. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of me face. I think I'll get now while this place is off limits. Oh boy, I wonder what they're reacting to. Oh, big boy. There he is. What in the? Grieled. Grieled. I got it. I got it. 
Gee, I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's not like the Pokemon screamed their name or anything. All right, Branch Poke. Stab him. Stab him. Ah. Didn't do anything. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it. Uh, Growl? Hmm. Don't do that. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. I can't see anything. Iggy, I can't see anything. You okay? I'm doing all right. Uh, scratch. Use it. Huh? Nope. I'm guessing I just have to run. Oh, God, I can't. I can't. I can't see anything. Ah! Oh, yeah, one of the classic anime screams. <laughs> oh god, I'm dead! Oh, wait. Ah, that would have been a very short story. Oh, Iggy! Damn it, I clipped the mic a little bit again. What? Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, well, that's nice to hear from little brother who had me wait sick. I've been waiting ages for you two. He never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Oh. Meh. The little chap's just fine. All of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Op. At least the Wooloo's all right. Yeah, Iggy. Oh, we'd had it when that weird fork started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. Well, at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Op? Seems... L Ooh, wrong one. It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of... presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really? They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world. They actually illusions or something? Get strong enough that maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. It'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee. What an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. The legend of Hope. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Ugh, my ages. Alright. In we go. Oi, Mum! We're leaving! Well now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? Yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are. Bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember the Grookey will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the door, the, 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 the poor deer too hard. Oh, that was like a tongue twister. And you, Grookey, look after my little Iggy. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Thanks. Mom's real cute. Look at these overalls. She got the floral boots. Looking good. All right, we're out of here. Do 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 do. I hmm. I feel like. Ugh. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna try and fix the sound here. I will be uh right back.
Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Uh, I, I, it looks like the audio is working, and it should be monitoring, so I should be able to hear it, but I don't hear it. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear the game audio, because that's weird. And I'm hoping that it's actually going through, because it's, it's showing up on the monitor, at least. We'll see. I'm also making the executive decision uh, that I'm going to change these voices a bit. They're going a little too Australian. And while that's not the worst, uh, I I'm, I'm going to make the decision that because they're from the countryside, they would be sound a bit more Irish, I think. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't matter. This is a casual playthrough, and I'm just playing around with the voices for the most part. So, uh, let me think. Irish. Irish. Right. Right, right. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobel a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on front. It's the Pokemon Research Lab. Alright, before that, I'm good. Huh! They appear. Uh, you wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? Better to take the long way around. Uh, oh, oh, watch out! Watch out! Ooh, ooh. Don't touch me! Okay. Bolt. There we go. I'll come back around once I have some Pokeballs. I do want to catch all these guys. Two Paralyzed Heals, that's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. Watch out! Watch out! Yeah, I do like that you can actually see and maneuver around the Pokemon in this one. Oof, although the pop-in's a little weird. Alright, Leon! Well done! You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did me first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me, to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go! The Charizard noise. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. About work. <gasps> this man! Yes! Yes! Chonky! Love him. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon. Wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. This might be Scottish. So what, what I usually go with for Irish. Ooh. I need to do more accent work. I, just, I uh, They all kind of get modeled together. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real chump when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day, when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? I don't like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flesh. This? What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yampa helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Iggy. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. God, Leon, that fit. Uh, what does he think I am? So he's got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he got lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Bzz. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokémon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokédex on your Rotom phone. You obtain the Pokédex. Just so you know, that Pokédex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokédex? She lives in the house down along the route, too. Yep, 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 yep. I love him. I love this fat little sausage. 
Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay. Gotta wash up. And we're good. Later, you can't. Hope you have a good time with it. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? Love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. You obtained a potion. You put the potion in your bag's medicine pocket. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP. They're 8 points. Get low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Man, this accent is going all over the place. <laughs> oh boy. Whatever. Oh, sweet. Secret. Secret. I'll save that for later. I usually save them for, like, the end of the game, and then I'll just, like, even out everybody's level. Later. Uh, Pokemart? No, this is a train station, I think. The world you see out the window of a train it never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Actually, this is a bit more of a Bis Bristolian kind of thing, I think. It's more of a trar thing, sort of thing. Trar. Bit more Bistolian, which with, for uh, people who live in the countryside is a bit, a bit more. Right. Right. Right, right. Got your Pokedex from Sonya. Wait, wait, wait. Got your Pokedex from Sonya. Yeah, that's how I'd say it. Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the world can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Iggy. Bet you've never been inside one. I bet the opposite, dude. I don't think, uh... I don't think you could really live in this world without going at least one. Yeah, it's like the store and everything. Level with me, Iggy. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good though. Main route too, Iggy. Come find me maybe when you're done here. Alright, let's see what, what all everything is. Want some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask why. Hmm. Nah, I'm, I'm good with all that. I want, I want, I want juice. Give me juice. Alright, we got this guy. Mm, greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Okay, that's just the PC. Feel, fix my guys. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thanks for waiting. Your Grookey should be all better now. We hope to see you again. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need them for free. Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? I'm here to buy. Pokeballs. Pokeballs. No! <sighs> they don't sell Pokeballs yet. That's fine. Alright, let's get some... Oh, let's get some antidotes. Let's even out our potions to uh, 10. And let's get... Let's get a few revives for safety. Should be okay, but, you know. No Pokeballs yet. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back. Nope, nope, that's not what I meant to do. No thanks. Do come again. Here we go. Oh, what's over here? What's up? Berries! I've got your fresh picked berries! What do you say? Interested in something? Um. Right, I want uh, quite a few Oron berries. Let's go with 20. Yep. And then cherry. That's paralysis. So let's get a few of those. Since they're cheap. And peach berry. Yeah, sure. Let's go with them all. Why not? Alright, 
And then let's give uh let's give our boy Oh we'll give him a for the time being we will go with the Oron. Are you not give to a Pokemon? Yes, there we go, that's what I meant to do. Rare candy, adventure guide, fishing rod. I already have a fishing rod. Nice. All right. Mystery gift. What do I get? Get a mystery gift. Get the. Oh, okay. It's one of those things. Uh, save. Save your progress. You saved your progress. Okay. <gasps> Fashion. Give me clothes. Give me clothes. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Oof. Ooh. There's a lot of different options. Okay. Mm, let's see. The hoodie. I'll go with a black hoodie. Classic. Oof. I didn't leave myself a lot of money. Bunch of skinny trousers. I think... Ooh. The mini skirts are cute. I think we'll go with, like, some navy... Mm, navy? Yeah. Oh, dude, I can't afford any of that. Oh my god, I want all of it. Eh. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I need the, the, these. Yes, the cropped leggings. Let's go with... Da, 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 green? Hmm, green could be okay. Yeah, let's go with green. Yes, put it on. All right, I can't buy any pants, any trousers. Uh, but could do. Ooh, green hoodie, black hoodie, black hoodie. All right, put that on, and then we can change. I already start with black, black jeans. Okay, black trousers. Hmm. Nah, I think that's good for now. We'll we'll come back and get more stuff later. Thanks for coming, but but uh, yep, scooting right along. Talk to me. Fluff, 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 fluff. Hey, hey, that's a secret. I see that. Ooh, a poke doll. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, Iggy, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there. Give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Makes sense to me. Alright, and I gotta stop by Grandma's. That was the, that was the deal. Oh, what was that? A secret. Hello? You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Oh, I thought... But Sydney or whatever was the Pokemon professor. Okay, fine. Can I? Can I fish? Nope. Over here, Iggy. All right, Iggy. It's time we filled in our themes a bit. And I'm here to teach you. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of falling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. It's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon, to cover one another's weaknesses. Now let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. Alright. Ah, Zawulu! He's angry! Out you go, Rookadee! 
This is the way a real champion catches Pokemon. Going a little South African with it. I mean, I, I feel weirdly comfortable doing South African. It's supposed to be pretty hard for North Americans to do, but I don't have too much trouble with it. If I wanted to do more Irish, I should probably... I was, I was throwing the, the clip thing. Gotcha! Wulu was caught. Typically... I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? There we go, here's the Pokeballs. Put the Pokeballs in the bag's Pokeballs pocket. The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get XP points from battle. So take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, so no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Here we go, here we go. Pokemon, get him! I gotta be the best the ever was. Got to do the test. Du -du -du. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. All right, scratch. Oh, I could probably do a little more than that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I need that. Damn it. All right, let's see how much Branch Poke does. Poke. Oh, about the same, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna save that new scratch. Whoa, okay. Uh, I guess my my Gro Grookey is weak to whatever, whatever Squove it is. Isn't he just a normal type? I don't know. Uh, fight. Uh, scratch. And it, oof, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually do all that good. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm taking so much damage all of a sudden. Scratch. No, no, my boy. All right, let's hit him with a potion. Full health. It feels like cheating, but then it's like, for whatever reason, it feels more like cheating when the other trainers start doing it later in the, later in the game. So I don't, I don't really know how it all fits on the scale of fair, fairness, fairness, I guess. I don't know. Mm, he bites. Scratch. Mm, that should be enough. Yeah, tackle. Oof. Bag. Pokeball. Actually, I think there was a an instant Pokeball in there. Use. All right, here we go. One. Two. Nice. Nice. Mmm, taunt. Okay, I'm probably not gonna use that, but I appreciate having it. Hmm. Would I like to give Squovid a nickname? Of course! He is going to be Chonk. Big Chonk. Chonk has been added to your party. Nice. Give me the fox. Give me the sexy fox. It, mm, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that name. It's because they steal, isn't it? All right, oops, I should have healed up a bit before I got into this fight. Oh, well. Uh, what's this do? The target is taunted and... No, that doesn't, ha that's exactly the opposite of what I'd want. I'd rather use uh the other styles and moves. 
Oh, that's it? Oh, that's, that's nothing. All right, quick attack. That's nothing, man. I can handle that. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna heal up for safety. Potion. Here we go. Nice. Don't care about Tail Whip. Oh no, my defense fell a little bit. It's fine. This fight's gonna be over in like half a second, anyways. Scratch. Uh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh, perfect. My general rule is I I usually try and get them to to at least the name, like right past the gender mark to the name. Uh, whoop, not that one. X. Use a Pokeball. Pokeball. Here we go. Two. Three. Yep. Locked in. There we go. Mm, gotcha. Hmm. Oh, and they're just uh, XP share regardless? Okay, that's fine. I was going to have it on anyways. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with the swipes of its tails as it makes off with its plunder. Yes, I will give it a nickname. We're going to call this Goth. 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 A fox. But Fow. Foo. Goth Foo. There we go. And that's that's another Squovit. Ooh, what's this guy? Who this? Oh! Choodle! That's adorable. Alright. Alright, Grookey, what do we got? Hit him with the scratch. Or hit her with the scratch. Excuse me. Bleh. Oh, I should be using... Uh, well, I don't want to kill it, so... Don't want to kill her. Just want to get her... Ooh. I think that's the lowest I'm going to be able to get without ki oh, without killing... Killing her, so let's go with that. Alright. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Nice. Caught. All right. Hmm. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock-hard horn. But as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokemon bites down and never lets go. Would you like to give Choodle a nickname? Of course I would. Going with Chomp, Chomp, Chomp. Chomp. I'm just going to say it as many times as I have space for Chomp. Chomp. Chomp, Chomp. Uh, chomp, chomp, chomp. Heck yeah. Perfect. Oh, and one of these. Oh, Rookady. The lovely Rookady. Alright. And Rookady, I believe, is dark type. The wild Rookady used Leer. Hmm. Fight. Scratch. Alright. And then I think one more. Probably. Yeah, not very effective. Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna use one of the Pokeballs. I got enough. Here we go. Doop. Doop. Do. We got it. Rook D was caught. Hmm. All right. Rook D's data will be added to the Pokedex. Jumping nimbly about, this small bodied Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. Would you like to give Rook D a nickname? Uh, yeah, of course. Is gonna be. Borb. Borb. 
Orb has been added to your party. All right, that's all of them. So now, now I'll just kind of like ignore them for the most part. Oof, whoops. Oh wait, that's one I don't have. It's a friggin' Lotad. I know those guys. Go, he monkey. Fight him. Scratch him. We're on even footing here being both grass type, but that's fine by me. Alright, fight. Scratch. Use scratch. Hmm. And then, uh, oh, let's go with Branch Poke. That probably won't do too much damage. Whoops! That's a lot more damage than I meant it to be. Oops. That's okay. We'll just, we'll keep going. I'll run into another one, maybe. Probably. Here we go. It's, uh, what the hell is that? Blip Bug. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me do 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 do. Hmm. I'll yeah. I'll fight. Let's hit him with the branch poke. <laughs> hit her with the branch poke again. I keep forgetting to look at the uh the um gender symbols. All right, potion. There we go. Didn't need to use it, but you know what? Why not play it safe? We're a young kid here. The struggle bug. Just gonna hit him with scratch. Ooh, ah, damn it. Ooh, I'm a little strong, a little too strong. Ah, oh, cool. Levels up. Let's... Uh, I think I'm going to switch over to a different Pokemon, because Grookey has gotten a little too strong. Ah, uh, let's go with... Oh, Goth Fox. Yeah, let's swap. Swap out for the front. Let's actually give all of them a held item. Uh, do, 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 berries. We'll give them all an Oron berry for now. Whoops. I meant to give. This is gonna, this is gonna give them some berries. Real quick. Okay. He monkey. Open. Give. There, I feel like there must be a, uh, there must be a faster way to do this, but whatever. Restore? What does that mean? Just, like, heal? Hmm. Give him an Oron Berry. That'll do it. That will do it. Okay. And then, oh, I'm just gonna actually run back and heal up. <gasps> A Yamper, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, yep. Mm, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying for this boy. This is a wild Yamper. Good fox. Here we go. Fighting. Quick attack. Get him! Oof, that did not do a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh no, paralysis. Well, that sucks. Damage, you immediately ate the berry. I mean, that's fine. But, uh. Oof. Let's hit him with some beat up. Stop. Stop that. It's not helping me. I don't appreciate it. Okay. This has the potential to do some more damage. Hmm. 
I'm gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna keep whacking them with quick attacks. Quick attack! Wacha! Nuzzle. G gentle, please. So I'm soft. Quick attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think one more quick attack, and then we'll hit him with the old, the old Pokeball. Alright. Okay. Pokeball. Use the Pokeball. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes. Good. Hmm. Oh, sweet. Goth folks leveled up. And then we're absolutely gonna give this old lamp Yamper a nickname, but first, this gluttonous Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. Of course I'm giving him a nickname. Good boy. Or no, wait, this this Yamper's a girl. Good girl. Good girl. And in fact, if I have enough space, yes. Good est girl. Perfect. Good, good, good. Alright. Time to run back and heal up. And then I'll run back out there. Hmm? Some just flashing. I already got the thing over here earlier, so I don't think there'd be anything flashing. Well, watch out, Gramps. Don't want to run into you. It'd be an awful time. It'd be an awful time if I ran into you. Right. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rescue Pokemon? I'll say, oh, I'm going into the, the Australian again. Uh, hopefully this will be a good good way for me to just like work on accents because uh I clearly have a problem keeping them uh keeping them consistent all right and then I will save right outside which is usually what I do in Pokemon obviously you can save wherever you want but I I tend to just save in front of the Poke Center it's usually easiest and that way I know that I already went to the Poke Center beforehand uh bushes can I do these have berries Nope. Whatever. Alright, let's keep on keeping on. Now, the Lotad and the Blip Bug, I missed out on last time because I accidentally killed them. So let's let's keep a lookout for more of the. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't. He didn't. Give me that guy. Lotad, Blip Bug. Now, oh, it's another Rookity. That's okay. We can at least level up a little bit. Hmm. Can't use berries, eh? What does home claws mean? Nope. 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 Uh. Okay. Oh, that's how beat up works. It's based on you literally just do it once per party member. Well, that's pretty good then. And each one looks like it does a little more damage, so that's pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. One more time. Take him out. Hmm. You know, because a lot of the information is under where my camera is usually at, I think, hmm, yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, really quickly adjust the size of my, I'm gonna adjust my uh, thing here, hmm, hmm. Is that gonna work? Is that a good placement? I don't want it to be too small. Hmm. 
right about there should be good. And then uh, I actually need to add... Sorry, folks. Just half a second. Uh, we're going to go with background. I'm just going to pop in background image here so it's not just a black void. Take just a second. Just got to... Got to... Got to... Just find it. Uh, 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 oh, where's it at? No, oh, where do I keep my background image? There it is. Open. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Hold on, I gotta resize that. It's gonna be just a second. We're just gonna do this. Do that. Okay, and then that, oh, oh, there, and then we're gonna toss that on the bottom. There we go. Alright, and then for the AFK, it'll still, uh, oh, yeah, we can leave the AFK full screen, I think. Uh, let me know that the audio is working as well, because I, 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 for some reason, my monitor for it is not working, but it says that it shows that the audio, like the game audio is going. So let me know if there's any problems with that. I will fix them ASAP. Oh, Borb learned to hone claws as well. That's probably good. Let's see. Oh, come on. Is there anything? Is there any? Now! Now! I hope that, like, the low tad and the flip bugs I ran into earlier weren't, like, uh, difficult to find. Because I, I've decided I am going to actually fill out the Pokedex for the first time in my journey as a Pokemon trainer. I am actually going to fill out a Pokedex. Wish me luck. This is supposed to be the smallest one in a while, so it'll be, it'll be a lot easier. Mmm, stompies. I like how she's got little boots. He has little boots, but still. You know what I mean. Hmm. And stomp. Nice. Nice. All right, all right. I guess I guess I messed up and missed out on some rareish Pokemon. Ooh. Oh no, nope, that's another Yamper. I don't need you right now, buddy. But thanks. Thanks for being someone I can beat up. Hmm, used beat up. We have both games, actually. Um, we lent one to my roommate's kid for right now, but yeah, we have both sword and shield. So I will probably go through uh, sword at some point and just like find the ones that I need on like special streams after I've gotten all the other ones in this this game. Come on, beat him up now! Can't move. Knock that off! No. Beat him up. Beat him right up. Alright, I did it. Hmm, Alright, I'm gonna switch to one of my weaker Pokemon. So that they can level up a little bit harder. I think they all level up equally. But, uh, let's see. Oh, let's go with Goodest Girl. And actually, let's give an item. Give the Oron Berry. I guess it'd be the Orin Berry. I don't know. I don't know. Swap to the top. There we go. Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, I'm still learning the interface for this particular game. And I'll just do a quick save. 
for safety. <laughs> Jokes. Whoa, that one. What do you got? What do you got? Yes, low tad. Perfect. Okay. Oh, he's got little stubby legs. He's got stubby little legs. All right. Fight. Uh, let's hit him with a tackle. Tackle. Absorb. Ooh, that'd be good. I'm probably gonna switch out one of my regular or my normal types for this guy, but we'll see. Tackle. It's not doing much, but you know what? It's probably good enough. Astonish. <laughs> Real, real simple. God, I love Yamper so much. It's so cute. Thick. Little sausage dog. Hmm. Make, it kind of makes me think of uh, the worst animated film I've ever seen, The Queen's Corgi. Well, I guess I've seen like Ratatouille and all those evil, evil films, so it's not as bad as those. But yeah, it's it's a movie about when the queen's corgis runs away and ends up in a pound. And then the uh, Donald and Melania Trump are both characters in the opening of the film. So that tells you about it as much as you need to know about that. Good girl, eat your berry. Pokeball. Get him. Nice. Gotcha, you can't. Here we go. Oh, sweet. Ooh, maybe I should switch over to Chomp Chomp Chomp. Its leaf grew too large for it to live on land. That is how it began to live floating in the water. Yes, I'd love to give the low a name. Stubby. Feats. Nice, exactly 12 characters. Ooh. I'm, yes, I'm gonna add to my party. I, I like Chonk, but we can get rid of Chonk. Uh, and I'll take that Oron Berry. Thank you very much. None for you. And then let me see if I can get the Blip Bug. Ran into one. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> ooh, ooh! The Galarian Zigzagoon. <laughs> I love him. I love them all. All right, let's just go with some tackle action. Ooh, ooh! That's a nice little tackle animation. Hmm. And then I think Zigzagoon is a normal type. Hmm. All right. And sand attack. Oof. That's rough. All right. Uh, yes, yes, gotta catch. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. I've got to be the best there ever was. I don't remember the rest of the words, so I'm stopping that gig there. Got him. All right. Oh, sweet. Level nine. All right, what are we going to name this guy? Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. All right, and we'll call this one Rowdy uh, Pal, Rowdy Pal. Nice. Uh, we ooh. Send to a box for now. I'll I'll figure out my actual team like later on, but for the time being I'm just uh I'm just catching them all. There's the next one I needed. Blip bug. 
Hmm. All right. Tackle. Do it. Struggle bug. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hmm, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna switch to... Jump, jump, jump. Because I don't want to accidentally kill it again. This is dummy. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I think water is... Water is actually... Ooh. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna use dark. Whoa, no! Ah, oh, I can't believe I did it! I mucked it all up! Alright. Damn it. Damn it. Why is that one stinky? But he got stink lines. Mm. Alright, alright. I'm gonna go heal up again. Since I'm like right by here. And then I'll, I'll try one more time for a blip bug. Do 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 do. Oh man, be nice if we could skip the. I guess this animation is not that long, really. In, in the long run, as, as far as a full run of the game goes. Mm. Was that... Oh my god, there's an ad in here? For the expansion pass? Mm. I probably will get the expansion pass after I've gone through this full game. But, uh... We will see. We will see how that goes. I'm getting the one with Avery full stop, because they are the coolest. Um, I think that means I'm getting the one that has the big brain boy. Big brain boy. Oh, good. Got another, another chance at this guy. Let's go! Tackle. Ah! Stop it. Yeah. All right, I only really got hit him like twice with that, so. We got it this time, we got it. I mean, man, struggle bug. We all struggling in this economy. You ain't special. I don't think that'll kill it. Mm, let's find out. Hopefully I don't get a critical. Oh boy. Tackle. Don't. Oh. All right. Here we go. Pokeball. Hmm. Nice. As all the ones I've seen in this region, this 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 specific area so far. Often found in gardens, this Pokemon has hairs on its body that it uses to assess its surroundings. Alright, and we're gonna call this... NERD! NERD! Okay. We're gonna send that boy to a box. Send him right to the box. All right. So yeah, I think I think that's all of them in this area. So let's let's move on. Hey. Oh damn, it's Rantaro Amami. How you doing? Uh, your future ain't looking so bright, but I mean, just keep looking up, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I skipped through without reading what he said. You were challenged by youngster Jake. Oh man, is there any cool guy named Jake? 
pretty much every every person named Jake I've ever met has been kind of a dick bag. All right, let's get him with the nuzzle. Paralyzed. Perfect. This is my first first real trainer battle too. That's pretty good. That's pretty neat. Everybody always uses Tail Whip. It doesn't seem like it's very useful. At least in my experience. I don't know the meta. I'm, I'm not a professional Pokemon gamer. Ooh. Uh, let's... Let's use a potion. I'm not doing too bad. I just want to be careful, you know. Don't gotta let anybody faint. Oof, oof, oof. Defense has fallen. Tackle. Nice. And one more. Hmm? Yes. Yes, okay. That's it. Right? I think that's that's his only Pokemon. Hmm. Good. You defeat youngster Jake. Oh, whenever there's a strong train, I always look right at them. You got 360 Poké Dollars. What else you guys say, Jake? If you don't want to battle, it's important to make sure you aren't seen by other people when you're walking around. You know, that's a fair point. I will keep that in mind. Two potions. Oh, wow, they're really generous with the items in this one. Trainer tips. Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon experience... Uh, oh. Mm. Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience points help them grow stronger. And if your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a Pokemon you are battling against. That's good. I don't think in the past that was the case, right? I don't know. Whoop. Watch out. Boy, I should have realized how long this route was before I just... I spent everything on those first two tufts of grass. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's do it. Cute and strong together in combination. You were challenged by Lass Loren. Oh, she's got a tiny little tie. Itty bitty little necktie that's adorable. Want one. All right, let's fight. A nuzzle. Knock that, knock that fucker out. Nice. Ooh, and it's very effective. Hmm, super effective, in fact. Let's continue fighting. Get okay. Keep getting notifications that are covering up the the stream info. All right, we did it. I'll be cute and nothing more. It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. I don't know why that's the voice I gave her, but all right. Oh jeez, oh jeez, he's ready to go. Okay. I can't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. It's Youngster Benjamin. Blip bug. I already caught one of these suckers. Take him out. Nuzzle. The struggle bug. Not my special attack. Hmm. Tackle. Now, special attack, is that, like, uh, that Pokemon's specific moves, or is that, like, just any move that is of that Pokemon's type? Hmm. 
I did it. Yay. Alright, I think we're gonna switch to somebody else. Ooh, switch Pokemon. Let's switch out. Let's see. Uh, let's switch out Stubby Feats. Go, Stubby Feats. <laughs> These guys have stubby little feet. Alright. Let's hit him with Water Gun. Hmm. Oof, and that's affected. Uh, I'll use Absorb, just because it's a little more mean. We're gonna be a little, a little rambunctious with this one. And let's just keep using Absorb. I think that I think that'll be that should be solid. Nice. I guess it only gets me two two points. Ah, Water Gun was a little more effective. Don't do that. Stop stop wiggling at me. No. All right, one more Water Gun should do it. Let's do it. Take him out. Oh, God damn it! Nearly, nearly. We'll get him with an absorb so I don't have to heal as soon. Not my defense. I need that. <sighs> Yummy. I did it. I sucked the the nicket dry. All right, I won. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. 420 Poke Dollars, nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's uh, let's switch Stubby Feats. Whoops, I think that, hold on. Switch Stubby Feats to the top position and uh, give them all some Oron Berries. God damn it! I keep using him instead of giving it to him. I have enough, so it's not a big problem, but I, I keep messing that up. Uh, nope, not swap. Held item, held item, god damn it. There we go. Give. Oh man, it's been a, a minute. Good long time since I, uh, since I really played a Pokemon game in earnest. It's coming back to me. But yeah, this is, it's been a minute. It, it's nuts to be able to play this on just an, a console. Because like, there were games that were on consoles, like the best one, which was like uh, XD Gale of Darkness or whatever, where you were like evil. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, like that is one of the best ones. Can I sit, can I sit down? A fishing spot. Yes. Let me fish. Yes. It's a motherfucking magic car. My boy. All right, let's hit him with absorb. No, not splash. Holy shit, that's uh, that's pretty effective. But you know what? We catching this boy. Nice, nice. Gotcha. This weak and pathetic Pokemon gets easily pushed along rivers when there are strong currents. Of course I'm giving him a name. Uh, we're gonna call him Prakagam. Which sounds neat, but it's just Magikarp backwards. I 
keep saying him. It, it's, it's a lot of these are female Pokemon. I'm not very good at that, but you know what? I'm doing my best. And sent to a box. <laughs> I don't need him. I like him. I don't need him. Oh, oh, let me in. Let me in! I can swim. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. I see that sneaky secret. I see it. Gimme. A repel, huh? Nice. Can I shake some berries out of the tree? No, that's later. Alright, I'm about to go into a cutscene, so before I do that, I'm gonna take a quick break. So I will be RB, folks. Don't go anywhere. Don't change that internet dial. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Got my got some water. Had a bit of exercise. Got the blood flowing throughout my body. Now, we'll see whatever one of these guys want. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax p phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. 
My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Welcome, young trainers. Now, come, let's head on doors. I think I said that twice. Whoops. <laughs> Listen, sometimes it happens. If I was recording this, I'd just edit it out. <laughs> Why, Hop, dear? I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Iggy. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. Sonia, that was her name. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Iggy? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? That's not what you sound like, hold on. Hey, Prof... Uh, what did Hop sound like? They do Leon like this. So, Hop is basically that, but higher up. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the... For, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Let me take a sip of water. Yeah, I'm having the worst trouble talking today. Ooh. Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hoppinigi only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Well, there he goes. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Okay, I'm dipping into Russian. Need to be careful. The... Right, I'll be waiting outside, Iggy. Let me talk to Magnolia again. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon. And for yourself, too. Can I steal stuff from her fridge? There's a fridge with some scratches on it. Did Pokemon try to open it? <gasps> what Pokemon you got? Ah, uh, Choodle. Squirt. Nice. Oh, hello. Do what plants would want instead of what you would want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Alright, anybody upstairs? I'm just looking through her house now. Whoa! Oh, this bedroom's cool as hell. Looks kind of like a teenage girl's room, which is interesting for a uh, for lady of this age, but you know what? I ain't got a problem with that. Look at all the stickers! Look at the Yapper stickers! Or wait, maybe that's Sonya's old room. Ooh. Ooh, the plot thickens. Hurry it up, Iggy! You've got to battle me so I can get to myself that endorsement! Yep, let's do it. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge! Come with me with everything you have so that we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Uh... Yeah, I should be good to go. Of course! I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle, too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in, as I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. The Legend of Hop. You were challenged by Pokemon Trader Hop. Let's do it. Hulu. Go stubby feet. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Oh, I'm way stronger than him. Uh, water gun or absorb? Let's go water gun. See how that works out. Soak that sheep. Mm, the Wulu's faster. Interesting. Oh yeah, water gun's fine. 
No, don't do that. No, don't do it. I'm gonna stop that. No, my boy. Nice, one down. And he had what, three? You've been slacking, Hop. Oh, wow. This is good. Uh. Let's see, what what's Miss look like? The user cloaks itself and its allies, uh... I mean, that could be... That's more useful than Growl for sure, so let's let's do that. One, two, and ta-da! It used to be Poof. Interesting that they changed it. Is it because it's a British game and Poof means a different thing to the British? Well, it's not a British game, it's... Galar's England. Slash... Scotland, Ireland, all that business. Oh, let's switch to chop, chop, chop. Bite the boy. Rookedy. Here we go. Bite him. Bite him. Uh, let's go with water gun. Why not? It's gonna be an all water gun battle. No, don't leer at me like that. No, don't do it. That's very rude. Oh, geez, that was pretty effective. But it doesn't matter because he out fainted. Goth folks grew to level 10. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's. Well. Yeah, yeah, let's. Uh. Is it water that's good against electric or the other way around? Let's all throw goodest girl and we'll find out. Here we go. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Nuzzle. Not pound. No, that's actually it barely did anything. Oof, that's super effective. All right, well look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. Mm, nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. No, don't do that. No, don't growl at me. No. No. I'm just gonna use Nuzzle again. It's worked out so far. Pound. And. Mm, ah, why mess with the winning strategy? There we go. I hope that really, really impressed Leon. <laughs> Me just wailing on Hop for three. Pokemon. Ah, oh, sweet. Stubby feats. Level 10. Oof. Got it that lost. But I expect nothing less from my rival. I even got my Pokeball through perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? This is definitely more Scottish than it's Irish now that I'm thinking about it. Ah, whatever. That works. A lot of the memes around this game had them doing Scottish accents, so whatever. Iggy, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, suppose of little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You obtained a letter of endorsement. Put the letter of endorsement in your key items pocket. Yes, thanks, Lee. 
I swear I'm going to win my win I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement and every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you threw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with the real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense. But well, seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Iggy. Alright, Iggy. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for a champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Oh, a meteor. Ooh, shiny. What you got? What you got, Hop? Iggy, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. What does that do? Key arms, uh... Hmm, wonder what that's about. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes! Trust you to pull something like this. I say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their hearts, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come through now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Iggy and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First we got the battle against that mad Pokémon in the slumbering world. Now this... It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey? <laughs> oh, seems I came back... <laughs> what voice did I give her? Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement! Hey, you lot! Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Oh, that's right. Curry. Do I get to help make the curry? Or do I learn that later? Curry. Curry. It's morning at last. And time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true that you only really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Iggy tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. I'm a right fount of information, you are. Iggy, Hop, these are for you. What you got? What you got? Oh, you got a Dynamax band! Okay, so this is how you can Dynamax. I, uh, Dynamaxing, like, the Z-move seems like it's just an overpowered, like, definitely gonna win move, but whatever. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now I can Dynamax our Pokémon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokémon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokémon. That will help fill out your Pokédex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin! Come on, Iggy. We'll beat you to the station. Oh, went back in the Australian for a second. I'll nail him eventually. Oh, what's this why? What's that do? Well, Mycom offers many ways to connect with other players. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's just like the street pass. Got it. 
Uh, uh, do I wanna? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, actually, let me change my profile. Ooh. Oh, who do I pick? Ooh, the Poke Kids are really cute. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go with the that one. It was cute. Nope, didn't save it. Mm, confirm, confirm. Uh, well, I guess that's not gonna change that. Whatever. Uh, I will do that another time. I forgot I was on stream for a second. I'm just having fun now. Can I just have fun, please? Wow. Oh, that was cool. Ooh. <gasps> TM57. Nice. Uh, let's see who can learn that. Uh, I guess TM bag. Here we go. Could teach it to Borb or Chomp Chomp Cha. Uh, let's. Chomp Chomp Cha. Yeah, he didn't even have all of his moves, so that works perfect. Okay. Then we'll save. And continue onwards. Here we go. But, um, where do I go from here? I don't see a way through. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm stealing your water. What? How's the water? Eh, whatever. Mmm, great ball. Wow, already giving me a great ball at this early of a stage? Okay. Seems a little, a little much, but I'll take it. And I did. Stolen. One last thing before we race, Iggy. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about out to the tall grass, yeah? You move real slow, like, and crouch down. Those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But, oh, that's South African. Hold on, hold on. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out, and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Iggy. I already caught twice as many as you, so... Get fucked. In fact, even more than that, I think I have nine. Whoop, whoop. Alright. Well, let's just run along. I already did all this stuff along the way. Uh, I think that's everything you can get on this first route. Ah! Yamper. Uh, well, I already got all that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna roll on. I think the thing I like, too, about this is that you can avoid the battles a lot easier, because the battles got to be kind of annoying at certain points in, in classic Pokemon. I mean, obviously, there are still ones that are a little secret and hidden, but that's all right. I think it's only the ones that you're, um, lower level, or, yeah, that are higher level than you, right? I'm not sure quite how it works. I'm sure that I'll find like the Poke School or something. Oh, hello. So I hop sneaking off toward the station. All right. Uh, I'm gonna hit up the Poke Center. Come on, Iggy. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. All right, all right. Let me hit up the Poke Center. Let me in. I don't think I can go any faster. Can I walk? Is there a walk button? Oh, there is walk. Damn, this character pigeon toed as AF. As AF. I know how how slag works. You talk to me about it. It's just too painful. Alright, and uh, do I want to switch my guys around at all? Yeah, let's... Uh, Pop this guy up top. And... Um, uh, what's all my items looking like? I want to get more Pokeballs, maybe? Got on potions and... Ooh, I'm kind of low on berries. 
Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some more stuff. Pokeball. Good. Let's get up to 30. 30 should be plenty. And then we'll go two of those. Yep. And I got tons of revives, so we're good on that. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Alright. Hop on out. Save the game. Saved your progress. Yes, I did. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, it was about how many I cut along the way, because I cut a lot beforehand. It doesn't count those. That's dumb. Oh, I forgot to read his dialogue. I was just reading in my head. <laughs> the gym challenge will begin in Motostok. Our train's waiting, so let's go. All right, let, uh, let me see who can learn that TM. Ooh, most of them. Uh, let's use that on Goth Fox. Uh, get rid of Tail Whip. I don't need it. I don't need it. Ta-da! Alright, save. And we're off to Motostock! Let's see what it's like. Not quite so fast, you two! Oh, the both of them. What are you doing here, Mum? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sobol as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two are setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Mm, camping gear. Nice. That's just expensive. Oh boy. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partners are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. Uh, we're off. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. Like maintenance running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Iggy. Come on, we're off! Oops, I'm gonna reboot. Uh, I'm gonna need to reboot my Elgato in a second. It was doing the, the glitch thing that it does sometimes. I don't want to miss a cutscene for y'all, though. Tapping feats. Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of. Ooh, big boy! He's wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get, ever get tired of it. Oh, was that Hop speaking? Oops. Oh well. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train assaulted did to a flock of Lulu on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! This wild area is massive! There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Iggy? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team! Mm, yes, I see. Alright, let me uh, reboot the Elgato real quick. Just, just a second, just a second. Alright, should pop back up any, any moment. My apologies, folks. Hmm. It's still not coming back up. Let me try that again. 
It's definitely going through the thing. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. And... There it is. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. <gasps> a swine up. Oh, it's a swine up. My boy. Uh, I love him. Please give him to me. What do you want for him? You'll run into stronger wild Pokemon the farther you go into the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poke Doll. Oh, thank five of them. My god. No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually. So long as you join in the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. Alright, to the wild area. Ooh, spooky lights. I don't know what that means. Oh, and it's nighttime now. I think, isn't it like uh, the the wild area is based on when you when you're on? Uh oh, do you have interesting things to say? Hi there. Would you like to arrest your Pokemon? Uh, no, actually, I did it beforehand. If your Pokemon are ever getting a bit ragged out here, set up camp and cook them up a nice meal to have them feeling better in no time. <gasps> the curry, the curry mini game. I must go. Look at that. There it is. That's Motostock, way off that way. I mean, it's not that far. That's like 100 yards, some. Between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonya. My girl gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Ah, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Granoid may have got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in... Right. <laughs> let me let me start that over. That took me off guard. Well, I'm ready to go stick my head in as many as those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. What cheek? That's not how she sounds. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. You think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon looking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Pokemon Box Link. Uh, oh. Huh. You can use the Pokemon Box Link to access your Pokemon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to your party or transfer Pokemon from your party to a box. Really? So you can just access the box anywhere now? That's interesting. Okay. With the Pokemon Box Link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Poke... I'm, I'm executive decision. I'm changing her voice. Not that it's hard to do necessarily, but it just does not fit her. Um, let me think. Or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Better? Yeah. Better, worse. I don't know. This is still early enough that I'm 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 gonna give myself a, a, the ability to just change. Like I said, this is casual; it's for fun. So I I may just shift voices as needed. I mean, anybody who's been watching since the beginning of this heard those friggin' awful like Australian sounding accents I was giving them at first. So, oh sweet honey, more, <gasps> more, give it to me, give me that goo. Oh. If you th up, oh, whoop. I accidentally clicked. And a Pokeball. Alright. 
All sorts of goodies out here. Yes, I saw that Onyx. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll go after him in a minute. I just want to, want to see what's around. Who's that? Who's that? Is that more Squovitz? I don't want to. <gasps> a Growlithe! Oh, a Growlithe! Yes! Yes! I love him. Ooh, this sunlight. It's not. Okay, whatever. I'll let it pass. Him with the water gun, obviously. Oof. That's rough. Yeah. Ooh, super effective, but not really that effective. Eh, it'll work. I can always switch over to somebody else. No, my boy! Or my girl! Eh, yeah, whatever. I keep getting them mixed up. I'm a fool. Alright. Water gun. Ow! It's a howl. Hmm. The berries look, uh, they just look like almonds to me. I don't know, I don't, what, what do you guys think? Maybe like a fig? Doesn't look very much like a berry. Hmm, yeah, it's not doing that much damage, so I can probably Probably get him down enough with just this. Ooh, never fucking mind. Yikes. Uh, yeah, use the next Pokemon I wanna. Uh, Himonki. Uh, not grass. He's got water, but he's water grass. Mm. Yeah, let's let's. Swap in stubby feet. See how he goes. Water gun. He is a much higher level, so. Or I don't think very much, just like one level. How many levels up is he? Two, yeah, that's that should be good. Peah. Oof. Oh, it was a critical though, okay. So it's not likely to do that again. Water gun, bit. Okay. And now let's, uh, let's capture this sucker. Pokeball! Pokeball! Let's do it! Oh. Cat! Nice. All right. Oh, good. Uh, chomp, chomp, chomps. Chomp. Oh, cause he, she got knocked out. Fire. Yes. Let's give this Growlithe uh, a fluff, fluff, stin, fluff stin. That works for me. If it works for me, it can work for you. I forgot to read the little descriptor. My bad, guys. Uh, yeah, we should probably have a fire, fire Pokemon in here. Oh, I like Chum Cha Cha, but yeah, but you're you're lagging a little too much behind. Sorry. All right. Uh, oop. Let me. Yeah, let me use my bag. Got to... Gotta heal him up. Mm, mm, do. Use that on Fluffston. And use that on there. And then I'll actually give, whoops. Uh, 
Berry. Give to Fluffston. And then actually I think I have a Burn Heal. No, Paralyze Heal. Do I have a Peach uh, Poisoning? Paralysis. Shoot, I don't have anything for Burns. Uh, that's not good. But that should be all right. That should be okay by me. All right, let's save for save T. Saved. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Whoop whoop. Is is that Metapod? Is that freaking Metapod? Right there. Can we get it. It's a Metapod. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully I don't absolutely wreck him with this bite. Nah, that's fine. And of course he uses Harden, so it's not that big a deal. Bite. Art. Mmm. Bite. Bite. Art, art, art. Alright, let's let's hit him with the Pokeball. Pokeball. Get him. Get him. Alright, here we go. And it's good. Okay. Cool. I love that there's just that built-in tension to pretty much every every time you do that. Oh, absolutely I'll forget something for Razor Leaf. Let's forget. Uh, growl, I don't need Growl. Who needs Growl? Ta-da! He monkey lost, lost it. Even though it is encased in a sturdy shell, the body inside is tender. It can't withstand a harsh attack. Crunchy, crunchy boy. Crunchy. And we'll send to a box. I don't need, I don't need a uh, Butterfree or anything. Ooh, ooh. Who said that? I don't want to like double up on. Oh wait, it's that is that rabbit? Uh, oh, I don't have this guy yet, so that works. Ball toy. What type is a ball toy? Well, I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna hit it with a bite. Art. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, oh, it doesn't have a gender. Interesting. All right, Pokeball. Whoop! Got him. Borb went up. That's pretty good. Let me double check that I have the correct stuff here. Uh, I think everything's good. Yes. It was discovered in ancient ruins. While moving, it constantly spins. It stands on one foot, even while it went, went, went asleep. Yes. Mysterious. Myste mystery. Oh, so with a E A U U Mysterioso. What uh, I mm mm. Nah, I'll send that to a box. I don't really care. That's just for the completionist. Um. Oh crap. Looks like my audio went out. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta reboot the dang Elgato again. Give it just a second.
There we go. It doesn't take long, but got to do it every now and then. Hmm. Give me the rabbit. Give me nope. Ah, it's another Growlithe. That's fine. I can level up my current Growlithe. Fluffston. I love, I love Fluffston. I love this baby. So fluffy. Bite. Has Growlithe always been... Well, I guess they couldn't have always been Fire Dark. But uh, when did they become Fire Dark? I gotta say as well, I love the iconography that they have here for... Uh, for... Uh, the different types on the moves. It's very useful. Stop that. Stop that. No. Oh. Good girl. Good girl, Fluffstead. I am going to switch you out, though. Nothing personal. Just, uh... Just... Ah, Stubby Feets has a water gun. Stubby Feets has a water gun. So we're going to hit Subby Feets with the water gun. Ow! Oof. One damage. Not bad. Oh, oh man. My neck. As we're considering super effective now. Okay, I guess. Pit. Pit. Ah, oh, poor kid. Oh well. Good, Fluffston has grown in the ranks. Let me just uh heal that kid. Heal him up, and uh, then we will give him another Bairi for safety. All right. And now, oh, 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 no, damn it, where is it? There's that friggin' rabbit going around. There you are. There you are, you son of a bitch. Benelby. Benelby. Benelby? What are we, what's the consensus on this one? You guys gotta let me know, I don't know what you think about Pokemon. Like that it's, it's ear looks like little fingers. Twiddling. Whoa. Uh, whoop. Shit. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. That's fine, that's fine. As far as I can tell, that was not an exceptionally good one. It wasn't like a shiny or something, so... Oh, oh. oh it's this guy! Little buff man! Tyrogue. It's Tyrogue. He's gonna kick your ass. With a little bam bow Punch you out. Well, that's rude. Bite. Ar, ar. Hmm. Steadfast, what's that do? Speed, huh? Intriguing. Ooh, the yeah, that's the one I want. Oof. And then I gotta uh I gotta catch a Pokeball. Use. Here we go. Broke free. He's got half a dang foot in the grave and one on banana peel. God damn it! How much more can I do? All right, let's try another one. Come on now, come on. God damn it! Really? He's just gonna keep hurting himself with burn, so... 
Let's use one more. If I can't get him with this one, then uh, I guess it's a lost cause. I'm not using my Great Ball on him. I don't care that much. God damn it, really? I mean, I'm just going to keep doing Pokeballs. I got enough of them. Just going to keep hurting yourself, dude. Okay. He wants to he wants to just die, I guess. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tyrogue. Goodbye. Didn't want to be caught. Not nothing I can do about it. Oh. Oh. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, it's another Growlithe. That's okay, I can take that guy out with Fluffst. The fluffiest. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's neat. Too bad I'm not using fire type moves. In this particular battle. Bite him. Ow! Once more. And bite. Chomp. Alright. Alright, alright, where's... Where's another rabbot? I do oh. Ran to another Growlithe. I could probably run away from this one. Eh. Well, I should. Should train. Oh, it's just level... Level 7. I don't even care. I don't even care about a level, level 7. Bite him. Chop, 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 chop. Hmm. Critical, eh? Bite him. It's always funny when there's like a brief second of it transitioning before it does this. Level up. Uh, yes. Let's forget an old move. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a better absorb, so I'll just replace absorb. Ta-da! Man, three of my guys at once this is pretty, pretty sweet. I've barely used Borb at all. Let's forget Leer, because I do that. Am not. Hmm. Oh! God damn it, I want to find a rabbit! Alright, in the, for the sake of not wasting time, I'm just gonna leave this one. I just want, I just want a, another friggin' rabbit. I messed up the first time. Oh, I can turn the camera. I couldn't earlier, so that's good to know now. Oh, 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 yep, that's what I want. Almost ran away from it. Oh, Bunnelby. Fluffed and punched that Bunnelby. Right in his dying ears. Bite him. Oh, 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 don't kill him. Oh, perfect. Good work, man. That's perfect right there. You used a Pokeball to catch the Pokemon. All right, and it's good. It's very sensitive to danger. The sound of Corviknight's flapping will have Bunnelby digging a hole to hide underground in moments. 
Uh, yeah, we'll go with Rabot. Rabot. That works. Uh, eh, send to a box. I do like his little neck frill, but I don't think I'm going to be using him very much. Not any time soon, really. But we'll we'll see him later, I think. Ooh, what was that? What was that? Oh, it's little Growlithe. Hello. Ooh, ooh. What's that? What's that? Yeah, it's a Growlithe. Oh, okay, there's the Onyx. Uh, let me switch my Pokemon around. Put the water up top. Yeah, let's do it. Fight me! Fight me! How strong are we talking here? Like level 13? 26! Ah, shit. <laughs> well, that's not good for me. Mm. Let's let's do something crazy and actually try this. I think I don't I don't think this is gonna work out too great for me. But who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> no. Oh dear God, no. All right, I'm using a Poke Doll. I'm out of here. Oh god, I didn't think it would be so much. It's so much. Alright, let me get the hell out of here. Oh, I found a note. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, and even the PP they need to use their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle in longer will perk right up as well with a piping hot plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curry. Berry. Shake. Ooh. Shake it more. Uh, shake it more. Uh, one more time. Now let's make it an even five. Whoa! I squelve it! I squelve it! Go, stubby feet! Uh, uh, let's use this Mega Drain. Ooh, damn, that's good stuff. I want to be the best that ever was. Be the test, I did the test, test, bruh. Come on, let's go. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. That's it, that's the wrap. Mega Drain. Nice. Ma yeah, Mega Drain is just way better than Absorb. So that was a good, good choice. Hmm. Aw. Aw, man. I didn't realize they take all the berries when you do that. That sucks. What's this? What's this hole? What's this? You can start the battle on your own or get up to three other players to help you out. I got 50W. Oh, okay, that's it. All right. Not that's, ooh. Yeah, let's get him. Let's get him. Tyrogue. It's another Tyrogue, motherfucker. Let's do it. Hit him with the water gun. 
Oh no, he's focusing his energy. Watch out. He's gonna go Super Saiyan. He's gonna go Super Saiyan, watch out. Uh, Astonish. Let's hit him with that. No! Ah, uh, dang it. Right, the capture gets a little later. Ah, uh, that would've been funny. Oh, whatever. I just gotta remember that it does that. Mega Drain. Oh, God, Mega Drain's so much better. Just gotta use the Mega Drain. Uh, ooh. You ever hum and, like, make your teeth vibrate against each other? Oh, it feels weird. Alright, let's see if we can catch this one. Put him in the ball. Put him in the ball fin. Alright. Yeah. Yes! Okay. That other one was giving me so much friggin' trouble. Alright. Fighting. Even though it is small, it can't be ignored because it will slug any handy target without warning. Yes. Uh, we're gonna call him... Here's a little wrestling reference for y'all. Lil Swole. Is Lil Swole. Lil Swole guy. Uh, actually, I am gonna add that to my party. Uh, I'm going to switch. Mm. Yeah, I haven't used Borb at all. Sorry, bud. Uh, and I'll take that berry back. Thank you very much. Then we will. Uh, give a little swole. Well, let's restore him first. So he got quite a beating. You know that last one? We'll do one Oron Berry. And then we will... Sh uh, whoops, that's not what I meant. Uh, held item. Put him in an Oron. Give it. Give it. Then actually we will uh, restore Fluffston real quick, because why not? There we go. Things are looking pretty friggin' solid. Whoop! Ah, another Growlithe. Okay. Look at those stubby feet. Sunlight's harsh. Hey, don't worry about it. Get him with the water gun. A double kick, really? A fighting move? I think... <laughs> I find it very funny that uh, one of the types is fighting. This is real silly to me. Awoo! Woo to gun. Super effective. A water gun. No gentle. No do not hurt. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, they can eat the berry between attacks. Like between two hits from the same attack. Okay. That's interesting. Ooh, I, oh God, I really gotta heal this burn at some point. Hey, no, 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 I want bag. Use the potion. All right. 
Man, there's a lot of Growlithe in this wild area around, what is it, Metastoke? Metastoke. Wonderful. Oof, this double kick is rough. <laughs> you'll be back soon you'll see you'll remember you belong to me kingdoms rise and pass fall do, 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 do. uh now nah, let's just run Oh, couldn't get away. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh, well, let's toss out a little small. Just watched Hamilton on Disney Plus for the first time. I've listened to the soundtrack a million times, but like, oh man, seeing it visually, it's it made me realize how little I actually paid attention to the lyrics. Because man, that, so much of the story made way more sense when I could actually see what was going on alongside the songs. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I I realized that my favorite song, uh, the one I was just kind of mumbling to myself, uh is actually the villain song, which makes sense. I usually prefer the villain song anyways. Um, it's just a little weird when it's King Friggin' George. You know, uh, this is a guy who tries to stop America from happening. He's wild, dude. And quick attack. So fast. You'll be back, soon you'll see You'll remember you belong to me Uh, oh, I don't actually need that Yeah Um Did the soundtrack remove a song? Hmm I don't, uh I didn't notice what song was removed All right, we gotta use some revives here. Another one on this guy. And potion. Um, it also depends. I've only listened to the, the Spotify version of the soundtrack. Well, I, like I was saying, I, did, I realized I was not paying at all attention to the lyrics. Um, Rumor It Happens is certainly the the song that reveals, uh, reveals Burr to be a villain. Because, like, earlier than that, they are more or less working together, but it's, it's when, when he sings that, um, so it's, it's when he sings that song that it's, becomes clear that he, he's definitely made a villain turn. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. You press the right stick, you'll find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button, they'll look straight ahead again. Oh. Well, that's useful. Uh, oh, that's right! Yeah, that song isn't on the soundtrack. Hmm. I know, now that I... Uh, I'm gonna listen to it again now that I've actually watched the thing, so it's gonna be a, a very different experience. I also, I don't think it's exactly the same cast in the, the Disney Plus recording and the, um, and the soundtrack, at least not the one on Spotify. I feel like there's a few people who have been moved around in that. I'm not sure. <gasps> Mudbray! Mudbray! My doofy donkey child! My boy! Keep them like goat eyes in this, it's weird. Um, he's ground type, which I think is not good news for stubby feats, but 
Hit him anyways. Ooh, eh, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing is the guy who plays Burr, I'm pretty sure, is a different, uh, is a different actor. Hmm. I'll, I'll have to listen to it again sometime. I usually have it on when I'm, like, working and stuff. It's, it's a fantastic, fantastic thing. Like, the, the thing is, like, um, it was the first time Coco watched it, and they found it kind of off-putting because, rightfully so, Hamilton is a pretty, pretty despicable dude. But that's kind of the point. I mean, it's, it's, it's trying to be honest about the fact that he was, but he was not a good guy in life, and so they, especially where that, like, directly fucked with him, because, like, when um, the whole Maria Reynolds thing came out, like, that just wrecked his entire world, and it haunted him for, like, it was a terrible mistake, but he got his comeuppance for it, like, it haunted him for the rest of his life and ruined all the opportunities he could have had. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't know if I can get this mud bray. He's strong boy. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna throw out he monkey. I think he's the only one who's strong enough right now. Mm -hmm. Only on battalion of my love. Ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 the other thing is you realize how much how much humor is in that that show because like it's funny enough in the in the um in just the soundtrack but like there are a lot of visual gags and like king george himself is hilarious like he does so many things there's a point in there and i don't know if this was intentional but it fits the character so perfectly where he just during the song just completely drools all over his chin. Just a fat thing of drool, and it's just like, yeah, yeah, that that perfectly encapsulates that character, so it's gross, but it, like, it makes sense. It eats dirt to create mud and smears this mud all over its feet, giving them the grip needed to walk on rough terrain without slipping. Yes, of course. I will call him... Ooh, ah, uh, uh, ooh, what should I name him? Or, it's a, it is a male Mudbray. Hmm. L -l 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 Lorenz. But spelt very wrong. Lorenz. Yeah. Oh, absolutely add him to my party. You kidding? Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, let's switch out Goth Fox. Take the item back. All right, I think that's enough catching for right now. I'm gonna move on with the story so that I can get to the next little bit before, before the, the end of the stream here. I'm gonna be ending about 11, but I'll go on for a little bit. Still, um, ooh, uh, let's switch a little swole up top, and we're gonna restore. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Potion. All right. I mean, it, yeah, it, it was very likely unintentional, but, like, you, it, if it was intentional, that's amazing acting, because I, I feel like, even if I tried, I don't think I could, like, drool on command like that. You'd think it'd be easy, but it's, like, the amount of control you'd need to have to do that while singing a song that is that demanding, like, that's, that's pretty impressive. I, kudos. And it, it fits the character so well, it's pretty funny. 
I I'm curious if it if it is intentional, um, if he did it specifically because, uh, because it was the version that was being filmed. The thing that's frustrating, and I'm not the first to say this, but it it's frustrating that um, they, whoa, hey, I'm friggin' Jack dear. So what would you like to do? Spend my wants. Oh, that's what they do. Okay. A heal ball? Hell yeah. Let's get like... Oh, ten of those. Um, uh, It's frustrating because uh, their most Broadway shows, if not all Broadway shows, are filmed like that. But they're just... It's done for archival purposes and they don't put them up on streaming anywhere. Sometimes they will, like, sell it as, like, a DVD or something, but, like, it's frustrating. There are many shows that we can't see unless you go to New York to the archives and watch it in person. Like, you ha you can go. It's open to the public, I'm fairly certain, but it's difficult. People call me the Camping King. I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, everyone stars out as a rookie. If you've got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. Is there anything camping related you lock some health with? Ooh, tent color. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do curry yet. I guess I'd have to do the Pokemon camp. Well, we're gonna go into town first, and then I will be back for sure. Yeah, that's a big part of why Star Kid got so popular because you can actually see the performances. They're not super well recorded. But I mean, the more recent ones are. The older ones, like Very Potter Musical, not so much. But it's all good. Moto Stoke. We've arrived. Yeah, even, like, the, the old, like, 80s and 90s recordings of, like, Sondheim stuff are very difficult to track down at this point. Um, you know, legally. Like, it it's pretty difficult to find a rip of that tape. Minchino! Minchi, 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 minchi. That's my Minchino! Ooh. Alright. <sighs> Crap, I just gave her a new voice. Um... She had the the accent, right? She had the, the she had the accent. Um, I've forgotten the accents now. Hold on. Uh, Leon is very, Leon's very Scottish, right? And then Sonia, Sonia was, Sonia was like this. Yeah, she's a bit more sultry like. Uh, uh that, that sounds a little too sneaky. Um. Real easy here to make it through the wild area. Seems like you trek around your Pokemon ragged though. Should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of. You're a real trainer and all. That's the best I got right now. I'm sure all of these voices are going to change over time as I figure out the comfort zone for them. Oh, it looks like the Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Iggy? Here's a sample for you. You got Leon's league card. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's like a Pokemon card. That's a neat addition. But Motostock sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonia's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. The opening ceremony. <laughs> I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. There they go. Alright. Oh yeah, that's def I can guarantee I've like forgotten their voices here and there and stuff, so... Voices all subject to change as you, as everything else on this channel, but yeah, I'm doing my best. Ty Rogue and the rest of your team should all be better now. All right, 
Ooh, a rare Pokemon, eh? All right, let me save. Oh, and the lead card. Ooh. Hmm. Nice. And save. Oh, and I think that's all of the basics. Because that screen is full up. All right. Let's go through a little bit of this. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you... Voice still doesn't work for her. Let me think for a second. I got that. Hold on. I'm going to mute myself because this is going to sound weird otherwise. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Motostock was? I'm here for the gym challenge! Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Still seems a little light for her, but I, I'm, I'm working on it. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostock Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, laters, I'm going to swing by the shop so I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Oh, she's more like a valley girl. Actually, that cave thing just came in. That changes some things. All right, got to register at the stadium. And we'll do the shops and stuff next time, but I'll register at the stadium, and then that'll be the end of the stream here. Uh, is this, is this a stadium? Charizard noise. Here he comes. Here he comes! I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge little thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Iggy, alright? One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And, yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. It's a miracle seed. Uh, grass type moves. Okay. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for a stadium next. Uh, da, 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 da. Give that thing to my guy. Miracle Seed. Give to the monkey. Yes. All right, now we're going up. Oh, cool, Daxman45 is raiding with a party of five. Thank you very much, Daxman. Much appreciated. All right, we're going to register at the stadium. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, it's Hop. Hello, Hop. You made it too? Motostock Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Iggy. It's time the world learned our names. Oh, thank you, Dax, man. I, I do take very good care of it. But it's mostly Genex, though. I don't do anything super special. Although now that I'm wearing Hawaiian shirts all the time, I'm getting... Uh, people already gave me the Weird Owl thing, but like now even more so. I'm just leaning into it at this point. Would you take a look at this? The place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. <gasps> Hello. Who's this? <laughs> Oh, 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 this is gonna, this is gonna be a snooty voice, I can tell. Oh, it didn't even talk to us. Okay. Save that one for later. It's in here. I know how, I know what that guy's gonna sound like. Seriously? What the piece of work. If you hear the register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. 
It's a little too close to Leon. I'm going to have to differentiate those ones a bit. Fancy that. This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you've had two because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? Well, what's come over Leon this year? Two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Get me all signed up, would ye? His teeth are all pink there, weird. Well, well, yes, I am trying to. If you'll just give me a moment. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform if you'd be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of the uniform you must wear for any official match. Oh, I know this one, 98. That's my number. Number 98 it is. Very well. And here, please wear this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked the room at the nearby Badi Drop In. That's the league chairman for you. Even booked us all hotel rooms. We'll have to check out the fancy digs. Oh man, uh can talk to people. Oh man. Nice. I like those guys a lot. Does this say anything? No. Okay. Ah, can I talk to you? Butthole. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. Wait. Wait, this is in, in England. What's this really snooty English voice? Very posh, sort of. In other words, among all those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? It's positively criminal of you. Wasting the time of someone as important as I am. Ooh, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna tweak that one next time, but that's definitely gonna be a fun voice. Oh, you must be Challenger Iggy. The Badoo drop in is down this way. If you'd be so kind as to follow me. I gave myself a really tricky one with that. I'm trying to do like a kind of a surfer dude kind of a thing, sort of a PC principal from South Park kind of thing, but then do it with the Scotch sort of. Challenger Iggy, we've arrived at the Badoo drop-in. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Let me in. Let me in the end. Good, good. Oh, hey, it's Sonya again. Hiya! Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering world. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. What's this, then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Ah, uh, give me all the details. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and a shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. What this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks it with being called. I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh, I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty to research, though, Sonia. Block storms and swords and shields and all. Uh, you'll be alright, Sonia. Huh, thanks. I'll muddle through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Eh, probably so. I'll look out for you too, Sonia. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. All right. Check it. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. There they are. Oh. Oh. I don't know what the name. Team Yell? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Exciting. Let me in. Let me in. 
We came all the way out to this big city so that we could probably cheer on Chim Challengers. Team Yell is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. This is my first playthrough, yeah. Uh, I, I watched a little bit of the beginning, but uh, it's pretty much all fresh for me at this point. Alright, let's fight. I'm fighting! Team Yell. Team Yell. Then we tell you, Matt, you'll get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. Now you're going to help us make some noise. I am challenged. Oh, hell yeah. I already caught one of those guys, but... This is exciting. I like Zigzag Goon. He is fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's use Fake Out. I'm trying to level this guy up. He keeps taking a lot of damage. Oh, oh, two attacks in one. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, Nuzlocke. I, I considered doing one myself, but uh, I, I, I decided instead I'm just going for a full Pokedex run. So that's that's also a challenge to me. I've never actually done a full Pokedex in any of the Pokemon games I've played. So fingers crossed it goes all right. Uh, ooh, I feel like I should switch out. Uh, yeah, I don't want him to faint because then he doesn't get anything. Let's put back he monkey. I do it. But yeah, best of luck with the Nuzlocke. They they look very very difficult in their own way. Um. I do like to give them all their own names, though. That that's I'm s keeping that part of the Nuzlocke. Touch. Tra I don't actually know how touch trade works. Uh, I I I appreciate the offer. Um. Uh, I'll keep that in mind for sure. Got him. Man, I'm leveling up like crazy. Oh, you only had one? All right. Yeah, that makes sense for a grunt. Seven hundred and twenty poke dollars. Ay, give me a break here. Dimiel, get revenge for me, would you? Of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than battle in a lovely hotel lobby? It's when you trade and immediately trade back. Oh, okay. Maybe I do. Oh, um, I don't know. Are you are you playing uh, sword? This is shield. I I was planning because I do have sword. I got the double pack. Um, I was planning on like uh, what you call it? Uh, just like grinding through to get those off stream and then trading them over. It failed. No. Mm, mm, no, 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 no. I don't want him to go out. I, he needs a little more training first. Uh, wait, who am I? Uh, yeah, let's top out, toss out Fluffston. You got it, girl. Kick her ass. Mm, yep, Ember. Get him. Oh, jeez. This ball makes a lot of strange sounds once it gets uh, down. Mm, Level 13, level 11, all that business. Uh, executive decision, I've decided that these guys are probably chavs being soccer hooligans, so... Uh, hmm, soccer hooligan, that's, that would be... Uh, it's Cogni, right? And then it'd be hard pitch, so... I must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Am I going to have to fight all four of them? Is this just in there? 
Oh man, this swanky, sophisticated area here for had me off my game. Couldn't keep my cool. Wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Iggy. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? That's not his voice, hold on. Uh, don't you think you can get ahead of me that easily? I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Oh, thank you. That's very, very helpful. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers. I'm the one who's gonna be the next champion. So now let's have a nice two on two. Ooh, ooh, team battle. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. You are challenged by the team yell grunt and the team yell grunt. Ooh, this might slow down my system a little bit. I have the older, uh, I have the older switch. Here we go. Now oh, you sent on a Wooloo. Okay, fine, fine. We can work with this. Let's see, uh, I should fake out. Uh, let's take out the the Nicket first. I think. I think that one might end up giving me more trouble. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure what all their stats are. A lot of these Pokemon are still pretty new to me. Fight. Fake out. Once more. Yeah, this is a strategy I like to call attack only one. You, uh, you pick one. You attack only one. That way... If they lose one guy, they're at a huge disadvantage. But if they, um, if both guys just get down, they still have two attacks. So, being able to take out one guy immediately is very, very helpful. God damn it! Uh, okay, gonna have to try again on that. Let's see, uh, do, 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 do. fake out, ah, I'll just use tackle this time, fake out was not helping. Oh, okay, if that's what you want to do, hop, not exactly what I would have done, ah, oh, damn it, you know what, I should have bought, I didn't expect to be fighting, I should have bought some potions before I came up here. Come on. Come on, little swole. And tackle him. Bow. Nice. Nice. Oh, and he monkey leveled up. Good. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going with this tackle train. Should work out just fine. Hmm. And finished it off. Nice. Nice. Mm. Ah, damn it. Little Swole almost went up. I should see if I have any TMs that'll hit Little Swole. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. Or oh, yell, but I'm sh unsure. I came to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. I guess it was defeat that I heard come. That's not right. Hold on. It, mm, Chev, so it'd be like Cockney, right? Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Money? Nothing. We was just... I know you all are terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you got to show a bit of restraint. I know, I know. This is a terrible Cockney. Don't... It's not as bad as Dick Van Dyke's, at least. That's the most I can say. So about them, they're just a bunch of my fans. Got themselves a team yelling for me, around cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. Love Marnie's design. Super messed up asymmetrical hair. Gorgeous. They just caught up with one to support me and all that. And you get a bit shirty with other gym challenges. Sure, if they cause you any trouble. Uh, 
So you're a gym challenger too. Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. All right. Uh, oh, got to check in. Good evening, and welcome to the Badoo Drop Inn. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yes, young Miss Iggy. I see that the League has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. All right. The next morning. Morning. So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Iggy. I'll beat you to Mutterstuck Stadium. All right. And with that, I feel like that's a good spot to stop off for the stream tonight. Uh, whoop, whoop. Save. Save. There's the save. Saved your progress. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. So with that, I want to thank you all for allowing me into your homes, your computer, your tablet, your phone, however you watch today. I appreciate it a great deal, and I hope I entertained you. I want to thank uh, especially Daxman45 for the raid. Very much appreciate it. And anyone who isn't following, I would very much appreciate it. Um, oh, wow. I just realized, uh, like, three of you guys followed. Thanks a ton for that. Yeah, I'm trying to get up to the affiliate 50 followers so yeah three followers awesome thanks so much yeah yeah <laughs> thanks uh i i am a professional voice actor uh, i'm mostly using this as an exercise to improve my european accents because i've they're ones i've not focused on as much so uh, they're they'll get better over time um yeah so i i stream this every saturday and i'm going to be streaming paper mario probably Tuesday, Thursday, and then I'm going to move on to another game for my Tuesdays and Thursdays after that. I don't know which exactly, but I will continue to work on this. But yes, thank you all for watching. I hope I entertained you. Thank you for everybody who followed and for Daxman45 for rating. And uh, thank you if you watched, whether it was in the past, before now, right now, or in the future with the past broadcast tab, or down below I have my Twitch archive on YouTube that has all of the streams that I've done so far. Um, I've only been streaming since March, but making progress, you know. Uh, I also have my personal YouTube, and I'm working on a video for that that I think is going to be really... I'll say now, I think might be pretty good. I'm I'm keeping my hopes down, but I think it's going to be a pretty good video. I, I wrote the script, and I got, like, the footage planned out. I just got to gather all the footage and stuff. Um, you can also go to my Twitter, which is where I tweet out whenever I'm going live. So that's the best way to know when it's happening. Uh, there's also the schedule down there and on my main channel. That's subject to change. So the Twitter is, again, the best way to do that. So go follow all the different social media places. Follow here if you haven't. I would greatly appreciate it if you did. Come back again to watch next week for Pokemon or just throughout the week for Paper Mario and whatever games I move on to for those later. Um, anything else? No, that's it. All right, I bid you all a very good night. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, uh, also... Sorry, not going back on camera quite yet, but uh, I will raid you guys over to another stream real quick. So uh, just hang on for a minute. Let me actually see who's live right now. Um, who do I know that's live right now? Uh, Dare Strix, perfect. This is a friend of mine, so I'm going to uh, raid you guys over to him. Give me just a second. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, it's slash raid... Dare uh, Strix. Yeah, let let Dare Strix know that Iggy sent you, and go enjoy some Sea of Thieves. Good night, everybody. Or did I do that right? I think I might mess that up. How do you raid? Ah, crap. Hold on. Hold on. How raid on Twitch?
Uh. Oh, come on, give it to me. I think it, or did I do them right? Oh, yep, yep, okay. There we go. Uh, there we go.